everyone welcome to the update of 2nd july if one of your investment themes is quarterly results then i'll share a very important input today hdfc 30 minutes back has released the latest holding structure the domestic holding has increased from 33.33 percent as of last quarter to 35.54 percent the foreign holding was 47.83 percent lasting minor reduction 47.25 the public has sold hdfc actually this number has gone to dis to a large extent because FIAs, there is no major change. Now, in general, I treat FIA or DIA reduction as bad, specifically FIA. I treat domestic increasing their stake as bad. I treat domestic reducing their stake as a good input. I think July last two days, FIAs have bought a bit of HDFC ahead of the results. Now, increasingly, companies will release the holding structure updates. You can see it on most sites, money control, screener, even BSC. I've taken this raw data from BSC and did my analysis because screener and money control are not reflecting the structure yet. Today, Reliance was very choppy. This was taking Nifty up and down significantly today. TCS was the stock of the day today. It was consolidating for most of the day. Towards end of the day, a lot of stocks were falling, but TCS held the vote. As a result, Nifty was down just 0.1%. Otherwise, the cuts would have been a lot deeper. Bank Nifty, however, was not spared. Though HDFC Bank was up a lot 1.3%, but the index was down 0.8%. Nifty IT was rocking yet again 1.2% up. Nifty Energy was up 0.4% because Reliance was up today. FIIs were net sellers 2000 crores. DIs bought a third of what FII sold. The rest was lapped up by public. Today, Reliance did not contribute much to the index 0.2%. TCS and HDFC were the ones which took the indices up. But for Bharti, there was a news that Singtel will probably sell off some of their stake. That usually leads to a collapse in the stock prices. So Bharti corrected severely. ICICI and SBI both had good profit booking happening. Infosys was up yet again 1.8%. Today, consumption stocks came under a bit of pressure. Our LNT was up a lot. There was a big order they got from the Middle East. Gold corrected a bit. Silver was up. I've written this section now. Bitcoin is appearing here down 0.12%. The rupee was down a bit, Brent slightly higher. Note that SNP and NASDAQ appear here now. This is latest data. I'm shooting a little late today. So these are updated prices. NASDAQ in pre opening is up 1% today. Hope this new format is a bit useful. Let me know in the comment section. Today, I've also added next 50.5% down today. Defense was up very little. I have to improve this particular dashboard a bit. Key charts of the day HDFC opened a bit low but then it went up significantly and it was up for nearly the whole day. ICIC, however, came under severe profit booking. ATEL was continuously down because of the news. Today, public sector banks were down a lot. SBI, Bank of Baroda, PNB, IOB, Union Bank. Defense fell till midday and then increased for most stocks. A weak kind of graph in general. Metals have been trending down only in most cases. NMDC was down a lot today. In terms of my purchasing themes, I am right now focusing on infrastructure. For example, I bought LNT. Railways is something I have to lap up now. Let's see if there are still some stocks around. FI is pending. For example, I today bought ICICI yet again. So wherever I think FIIs are buying, I am buying those stocks. Select banks, not all of them. Dividend stocks is something I am going to start accumulating now soon. The main stock on my radar right now is Coal India. The dividend yield for Coal India is still pretty good. And coal consumption in this quarter would have been high. The next quarter also will be high only. The coal prices internationally are on the lower side only. However, Coal India is doing fine because prices in domestic markets have not changed at all. Otherwise, you would have been enjoying a lot cheaper power. What I am avoiding right now, high debt companies, especially in terms of interest coverage. This is an important ratio if you are evaluating a company with respect to debt. If they are able to service their debt, there is no big problem. I'm avoiding low profitability or low profitability companies in terms of percentages. Metal, I have NMDC, it is on loss. I have to take a call whether to cut the losses or retain it. Non FI stocks, where FIs will not invest, I'll avoid. There are select small caps, which are my favorite. I will keep investing on those, maybe some mid caps also. Today's performance wise, IT sector was again a rock star, 1.11% up. All the top companies were good. Yesterday, I was talking about Wipro that will go up further. It went up 2% more today. Zomato also I mentioned after double century, it will get re-rated. It is at 210 now. Today, Zomato cancelled their application for a license for lending. 
इट इज अ गुड थिंग एनर्जी सेक्टर मिक्स बैक द प्रोड्यूसर्स व रेड टूडे एन टी पी सी वॉज अप पॉवर ग्रिड वॉज अप हाउ एवर द रिमेनिंग कंपनीज वर अंडर सिवियर प्रेशर टूडे रिलायंस वॉज अप एज अ रिजल्ट द ऑयल पैक वॉज अप पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स परसेंट एज अ सेक्टर द वॉल्यूम्स वर डिसेंट नॉट वेरी हाई इन द ऑयल पैक रिलायंस वॉज अगेन बिलो फिफ्टी परसेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम्स सो वाइल रिलायंस इज वोलेटाइल द वॉल्यूम्स आर प्रिटी लो द अदर कंपनीज लाइक ओ एन जी सी आई ओ सी दे हैड गुड वॉल्यूम्स नोट डेट दिस वॉल्यूम चार्ट इज न्यू इन दिस ग्राफ इट वॉज देयर इन द अदर डैशबोर्ड बट नाउ आई एडेड वॉल्यूम्स टू दिस ग्राफ ऑल्सो रिलायंस इज इन द नाइन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट जोन नाउ बैंक एच डी एफ सी इज इंचिंग अप टूवर्ड्स द नाइनटी टू हंड्रेड परसेंट जोन वेरी फास्ट अप वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट दिस इज आई वॉज सेंग प्रॉबली एफ आई आईज आर बाइंग इन टू एच डी एफ सी बैंक राइट नाउ बिसाइज एच डी एफ सी द एंटायर सेक्टर वॉज रेड एज अ होल बैंक इंडेक्स वॉज डाउन हाफ अ परसेंट वन इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट टू नोट इन दिस ग्राफ If you notice is this is the sector P on an average. I have added this green shade wherever the stock has a P less than the sector. So, for example, HDFC, ICICI, State Bank, all three of them, the top three stocks, are trading at a P less than the sector P. Primarily because this is dominated by Geo, which is very high. Today I have added aerospace and defence also. One thing I want to show is that Garden Reach I have been talking about for the last two days. It's very expensive. the p is 74 so though it has got two new orders in the last one week it has to do a lot in terms of sales realization into revenue and delivery to justify this p the big boys hal bl musgaon dock they have a lot reasonable p today the volumes were low for the sector most of the stocks traded below 75% kind of volumes grse despite my skepticism was up another 4% top four stocks were down as a result the overall sector was down 0.6% the top sector was softer in it 202% note that this oil and gas is oil and gas related equipment oil and gas is here construction engineering was again a top performer what was pulling the indices down telecom airtel primarily banking automobile food and tobacco note that there are a lot of reds today that is because only 16 sectors were up out of 36 auto deep reds only madarsan sumi was up construction engineering lnt was up a lot as a result the sector was up rvnl was down 1% cement pack corrected a lot profit booking food and tobacco pack corrected as well 0.75% insurance the entire sector was down investment banking corrected motilal oswal i sold yesterday it fell another 4% that too on very high volumes metals got beaten down severely the consumption pack was down as well 0.8% as a sector telecom the most red sector today note that today's fall was primarily because of the stake sale news in bharti airtel however this sector has run up a lot look at the p ratio of bharti airtel even if you give it a 20% increase in arpu where would the additional revenue and additional profit come to justify this pe nifty 50 29 stocks down 21 up contribution wise top contribution came from hdfc tcs lnt infosys and reliance atl icici sbi kotak mahindra tata motors they were dragging the indices down most stocks had average volumes next 50 the breadth was not that good 29 stocks down 21 up madarsan sumi adani energy zomato adani total bajaj holdings they were up shriram finance marico srf info edge they were down shriram finance has been falling ever since the day i bought it it was going up till i had not bought it my trade wise i just bought icici bank today in cash no sells the options trade were red but not that much now today there are four positions let me walk you through them nifty i started very well today there was a lot of profit earlier in the day but as usual one position kind of destroyed the entire day this profit in fact was down 30000 at one point i squared off the position i didn't carry it into the next day that is why i always say stop after three or four trades but i myself find it very hard to do that so nifty pnl was minus 12000 now corresponding to the airtel news i shorted airtel one lot only this is right now in profit so i'll check tomorrow what happens if airtel bounces back this will turn into red but if airtel falls more then this position will give decent profit around 3 or 4000 maybe next position is icici bank this is a long position two lots it is in loss right now because icici during the day fell suddenly nearly 2% 
it has recovered a little only but from the days high from where i bought it icici was looking really pretty at that time this is the graph of icici i bought early in the morning only after that it fell a lot it recovered slightly then fell a lot and then consolidated if so if icici does well tomorrow it will turn into a profitable position there is not too much of a gap my price is 26.9 current price is 25.6 these two positions I took based upon my charts where I thought markets are indicating that buying will come to Infosys and TCS. So I took positions in them, but as soon as the chart showed a reversal, I booked my profits and moved out. So again, all these are experiments. Yes, 7,500 is a lot of money to pay for the experiment and learning, but at least I came to know that the theory I'm talking about every day that can lead to profit. If I buy, if I trade into the stocks where buying and selling is happening to keep nifty afloat at a certain level one big change in my pattern since last about three months or six months is that earlier i used to trade mostly in one class only for example either i was doing only options or i was doing only cnc which is cash right now with the market state where they are one thing is very clear that fis and dis are playing an infinite kind of game FIs will sell, DIs will buy, DIs will sell, FIs will buy. It's a cat and mouse game, but they are milking the markets 1%, 2% at a time. So as an investor, as a trader, I don't find the strategy to hold on to positions or keep them for one year, two year profitable at all because many stocks give up their gains in about a month's time, two months time, maybe lesser. So I'm trying to maximize my portfolio gains by going for 2%, 3%, 5% kind of gains at a monthly level. Hope you're enjoying the turbulence and making some money out of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.